and welcome back. We're going to be looking at how to add custom HTML code to a sidebar now on a WordPress site. So if you log in, you're going to come to the dashboard and from the dashboard, you're going to want to go down to appearance and widgets. I know it's a funny name. And then once you get to the widgets page, now mine looks a little different because I have the theme called Avada installed. And now Avada lets you do some super specific things like add your own widget sections and things like that. Just ignore all this stuff because what you want to look at is look for the one that says sidebar. Um, depending on what theme you have, it might have a slightly different name. It might say blog sidebar, it might say sidebar, it might say right hand side or something like that. It's going to be pretty obvious about where you want to go though. And all this stuff is drag and drop. So what you want to do is you want to go down to here and this is a WordPress thing. This is an Nevada thing and you look for custom HTML. Now, depending on what theme you have, your theme might have its own version of custom HTML. Honestly, you can probably use both. So we're going to hit drag it up here to the top and we're going to say Google ads because that's probably what you're trying to install, right? You go to AdSense and you get some, some specific text or whatever, um, or not text code. And from that code, you'll install the here. And then once you hit that, you'll hit save. So where do you go to get that AdSense? You go over to your AdSense bar, you log in, and then you'll go to my ads, add units, and you'd select the one that you want to get the code from. If you don't have anything here, you'll have to create a new one. Click, click add new add unit, and it'll walk you through the different things, what size you want them, um, where do you want to show that kind of thing, get all your specifics. And once you save it, you'll get something down here. You go to get code and then it'll pop up and you'll select your code. You'll copy it. I'm just using control C, close it. You don't need this anymore. Then you'll come back here and you go paste. And that's what it's going to look like, right? And then you'll click save. And you'll think about it. There we go. And then you're going to want to go, I'm using control click to open up a new window and that's going to link to Creation Depot. I'm going to head over to my blog and see, I've got the Google ads and that's where it pops up. Now I didn't look at what I was pasting here. So of course it doesn't fit. I would want something that fits within this space, but there you go. The ads show up right there. And then to remove it, you would, when you go back to widgets page, this is going to be collapsed. You would click the down arrow to open it up again and then hit delete. And then there, you don't have to hit save or anything. It just, it's automatically done. And then you go back and we'll reload control R on a Mac or not a Mac on a PC. And there you go. It's gone. And that's it. That's all there is to adding in any kind of HTML code to a widget in a WordPress site. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments below. I'm really good about answering them. Um, otherwise, if you could like and subscribe, I'd much appreciate it. It helps me move up this channel. All right. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.